everybody. Kiara here back with another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for the Nintendo Switch. Anyways, um, last time we left off, we entered this cave, fought a ton of Pokemon, and I mean a ton of Pokemon. There were so many Pokemon, and trainers too. We battled a bunch of trainers. Uh, now we're just kind of trying to find our way around. I'm kind of getting lost, because I honestly... I said I was remembering the directions I'm taking, but now all the directions are going all over the place. And now I kind of can't remember. <laughs> I really can't remember. Um, I really could not remember. Because there's this now, there's this now um, so many paths. I just can't remember the paths anymore. So, I mean, we'll get out of here pretty soon if I can't find the exit. Because I, mean, I do remember we do have an escape rope, right? From when I first went to the Grand Underground just to... Uh, just as a tutorial of how to get there. When I first went there... Um, I got a, an escape rope. That will get me out of a cave, so hopefully I'll be able to get out of this cave sometime soon. Because there are too many Pokemon here. Or maybe I, sh I should honestly just um, use a repel. Because I found one. I found one like last episode. I should just use a repel. God. This game, you guys, this cave is so confusing. This cave is so confusing. And it, it has terrible, uh, oh gosh, there's an exit. <gasps> How did... I went in a circle. You're telling me I went in a circle. This is where I was. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with it. I am fine with it. As long as I got out of that that dumb cave. I'm fine with this. Fine. I'm I'm absolutely fine with this. I found a cricketune. I'm fine with this. There were definitely more pathways to take. Um, I don't know if I missed anything in there. I might have to go back if I did. But... But yeah. I was like, but yeah. That was crazy. I was like stuck in there. I was getting lost. And I happened to find my way back to the entrance. How does that happen? Hey, but hey, it always happens in the anime, doesn't it? Ash and company always go one place and then they feel like they're going in circles and then they end up back where they started. That always happens. So it's, it's fine. It's fine. We need to go to a Pokemon Center. Badly. Very badly. Is there one nearby? Am I close to the next town? Please tell me I am. Please tell me I'm close to the next town. Ooh, hey. I didn't see these here last time. 
two raspberries. Uh, let's plant a raspberry. Nope, I don't want to do that. Let's plant a raspberry. All right. Oh God. Okay. You're not gonna battle me, right? Hey Kiara, how's your Pokédex coming along? Me? I'm doing great as always. Not! But that's not important. Lately, I've been experimenting with a couple of neat tools. I'll share with you, Kiara. Choose a hand. Um, well, I'm right-handed, so let's go with that. You want the V... V... The Versus Seeker? Is that what it's called? Yep, Kiara, you know what's important. You obtain the Versus Seeker? Wait, hold on. I'm just gonna guess what that is. I feel like... It's something that tracks where opponents are. So like on the screen I could see like, oh this person wants to battle if I talk to them. I don't know. That that's what that's that's what I'm thinking. Using a versus seeker you can find trainers who want to battle with you again. What about a pocket? Do you have one? Yep you do, you can have this too then. You deserve it for all your effort. Ooh, the dowsing machine. That's in the that's an app now? Locate unseeable items. The dowsing machine is, well, just try using it. It'll alert you if there is an unseeable item on the ground. It's especially handy for finding things in dark caves. <laughs> okay. I just came through a dark cave, so. Alright then. Once the screen zoomed in there, I'm just like, I just got scared. I'm just like, oh god, does someone want to battle me? Is it Barry? Uh, Orenberry. Got a lot of Orenberries. Bluckberries? Sure. We're just picking all these berries. Sure. I just picked a random berry. What I've been doing all the time. It is what I've been doing every single time. Anyways, I could easily make it a town, right? Oh, hey. Hey, this is where we came from, huh? That's the slope that I couldn't get up to make it to a Turner City. Uh, Pokemon may become immobilized if they are asleep or paralyzed. If it happens to your Pokemon, it could be disastrous. If your opponent's Pokemon can't move, it's a big opportunity. Uh, let's see, these twins obviously want to battle. God. Alright, let's do this. We're going to go heal first, because I am not battling any extra Pokemon without Prinplup. So let's speed her up. Onto cycling road. So anyways, did I explore all of down there? I guess I did, huh? Yeah, and then the cave was the last part. Alright. And then who knows where the cave actually ends up. For all I know, it probably just is a dead end at the opposite corner. So then... All I could have done is gone in a circle. I don't know.
All right, go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best to. Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard too. Okay. You can try, but I don't think you could do it. Ponyta and Pachirisu. No can do. I'm just kidding. Yes can do. Super effective. Level 27 for Primplup. I should have gotten rid of Pachuiso first. I forgot that uh, he had moves that was super effective against me. How could I forget about that? But I did. All I was thinking of when the battle started was that Primplup is super effective against Ponyta. I did not think about that Pachirisu is super effective against Primplup. Or else, you know, I would have attacked him first. Oh, wow. Machop level 24. Vital throw. Sounds evil. The user attacks last and return this throw move never misses. The heavier the target oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. Is that why it's been so weak? The heavier the target, the more power it is. Luxio is level twenty-four. You are not learning roar. So we have a level twenty-five. Do you do level 24? Self destruct? No. I was like, yeah, no. Kaz is level 19. Nice. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. They sound so disappointed. I mean, they should be, right? Wouldn't you? If you were battling against me? Anyways, I found a super potion. It's a vent that exchanges air from the Grand Underground. Oh, n interesting. I was like, interesting. That's cool. Oh, God. What is this? Okay. I'm just like, oh, God. Is this the same cave? <laughs> Mount Coronet, though. Really? It's Mount Coronet? I just got through Mount Coronet, but we've still got fuel in the tank. Am I supposed to go through Mount Coronet? Yeah, right? To get to Heart Home City? I could have sworn. I thought Mount Coronet came long after. Uh, long. Uh, I could have sworn it doesn't come yet in the anime. Seems too early for me to cross Mount Coronet compared to the anime. When they did it. Um, Bronzor. Didn't take much to beat us. It did not. Alright. So I can't go that way. So I guess I have to go to Mount Cornet. Alright, let's do it. Let's tackle this head on. Let's get off of my bike though. I'm gonna attract a lot of Pokemon so much faster than walking. Oh, 
It's Cyrus. Oh my gosh, look at his... <laughs> oh my gosh, the features on his face are perfect. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Um. Okay. I'm just like, okay. You didn't want to introduce yourself? You just want to talk? Just want to talk about nonsense things? So was that just a shortcut? Yeah, it was, huh? I can't go that way, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to dis discover more places um, as time goes on, huh? But wait, hold on. Isn't there another place? There were stairs going down, right? Technically going up, but going south. I want to make sure... Curse, of course, of course you have sturdy. Of course. Oh, okay. I was like, oh right, that's what it was. So there was stairs going down, but I need to uh, no surf to get around it. To get around that water. Or get across that water. God, there's so much people. Okay. Oh god, you're blocking the path. Are you gonna stay right there? How are you supposed to be a big man like me? Is he gonna stay there? Just blocking my path? Robert? Level 20 for Abra. I mean, Kadabra. <laughs> totally different Pokemon. Forgot it evolved last time. I'm a grown up, but I got served by some little kid. You sure did. You sure did. Oh, hey, you moved. Thanks. This karate man will pulverize you. Give it your best shot, Black Belt Kyle. Oh wow. I love his graphics. His his design looks awesome. I've never come across a black belt before in this game. I still lack power. Yep. You sure do. Found an X speed. Could I go up that slope with my... Oh. oh I'm supposed to scale it with this hidden move. Okay. So I can't go that way yet.
If I be you, will you share some food with me? <laughs> sure? Old man? He's an old man. Only old man, only old men ask for food. <laughs> Will you share some food with me? If uh, you you're a hiker, you should know to bring food with you when hiking. Bring enough to last like at least a week if you're hiking. Okay. You should know this. We were starved for food, and now we're starved for a win. Yep. Did you not want my food? I was totes gonna... I, I was totes gonna give you some food. Like totes. Um, okay, I got a Pokeball. Hey, hey it's actually a Pokeball. Alright, add that to the stack of 118. Okay. A bidoof. I don't need a bidoof. I don't need a bidoof. You think I need a bidoof? I don't need a bidoof. This game thinks I need a bidoof, but it doesn't know what it's talking about. I mean, I need a Badoo for experience, I guess you could say. Well, there's a house here. Uh, oh, you want to have a battle? I was meaning to enter a super contest show, but beating you won't take long. <laughs> wow. Claiming a win already. Aroma Lady Hannah. Hannah sent out Combi. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I could beat up your combi. It's a bug type. And I got a flying type move. So bug type plus me using a flying type equals one hit KO. <laughs> Roselia. Grass type plus me using a flying type equals possibly a two hit KO <laughs> possibly two hit KO poison sting you're a grass type and you chose to use poison sting I guess she just really wanted to poison me noise level 28 you are not learning Fury Attack. No way, Jose. Oh, you have a speedin. I sure do. Nana berries. Nice. Nope. Raspberries. Blackberries. Pineapple berries. I 
All right, now let's read these signs. Trainer tips. After berries planted, watch the color of the soil. If the soil is dark, it means it has plenty of moisture. If the soil is lighter in color, water it with your s watering can. I forget what it's called. Um, what's in here? I, f I forgot to read the sign. It's just a house. Are you the forgetful type who loses track of where berries are planted? Yep. Yes, yes, I thought so. I'm the same way. The town map shows you where there are ripe berries that are ready to be p Really? I did not know that. Thank you, little girl. <laughs> um, would you like some berries? They are all plump and ripe. Ooh, you're selling berries. Well, I mean, I don't really use berries, so... Nah. Um, please come again. You seem really shy. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. Okay. The most common berry in the game. Cool. Come back tomorrow. Alright. Uh, Berry Master's house. Free berries available. You and I. Let us create a scene of fantastic tableau. 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 Of battle. What kind of music was that? It was like... No. He's an artiste. Mime Jr. That's new in this game so far. I need to catch myself a Mime Jr. Kaz is holding an Ornberry? Since when? I'm just like, you could see the picture of Kadabra hold- and then you could see the picture of an Ornberry next to it. I'm just like, it's holding an Ornberry? Since when? I guess it's fine. I guess. That is a big easel. Magnificent. I am aglow with inspiration. It wraps around his neck. That's so weird. He holds his little drawing board. Anyways, uh, what's down here? Who are you? Don't say a word. Just take it. An odd key... A keystone. Wait, a keystone? Wait. Wait, 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 it's a keystone. From Kalos? <laughs> what's an odd keystone? Tell me what an odd keystone is. Odd keystone. A vital item that is needed to keep a stone tower from collapsing. <laughs> Voices can be heard from it occasionally. <laughs> what is an odd keystone? Give it to a Pokemon, no. It stops buildings from collapsing. Alright. Um, that's a thing, apparently. It's a thing. Who are you? You look fashionable. If you say Heart Home City, I only say this. Super contest shows. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Heart Home City is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. Nice. Heart Home City! We made it, you guys! And something's happening. <gasps> oh, a Benary. Oh, thank goodness that you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Benary could have run. Baby Benary, back into the Pokeball you go. <laughs> That's a good name. It's a good name. I'm Kai- I, I'm Kyra. I'm- <laughs> So close to my name. I'm Kyra. I'm a super contest show judge. Please drop by the contest hall so I could thank you properly. I mean, it's just a binary. Will it really have run away? Anyways, we made it you guys to Heart Home City. Next time, we will go ahead and explore all of Heart Home, Heart Home City. We'll explore everywhere. 
including the contest hall to see what she gives me, I guess. And then I guess the next episode we'll have to do a contest, you guys. We'll finally get into doing those contests and decorating my ball capsule and putting stickers everywhere. And it will be a lot of fun. So until next time, I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond.